Before we begin, thank you very much to Why Does the Vox Sound Like Rhinox and Tigatron? for joining the Patreon campaign. Probably because that's cheaper than hiring two other voice actors, but that's just my guess. But thank you very much for contributing. So, I got two things to tell you before we begin. Number one, if you hear my 3D printer in the background, I apologize. I'm desperately trying to get stuff printed in time for TFCon, and I'm running low on time. And two, uh, something else running low on time is the shout-out streak. I have one more shout-out in the queue after this. But tonight and tomorrow, I will be filming all of the content that will be going up automatically while I'm away at TFCon, and they need shout-outs too if the streak is going to continue and there needs to be one waiting for me when I get home on Monday. So at the moment, I'm like five short of being able to keep the streak alive. So you guys started the streak. You guys are the ones that have been having fun with it, making me say weird things or just shout out whatever you wanted. Uh, and if I want you guys to continue having fun. You're the ones who had fun making me do this literally for nine and a half months straight without going to my original intro anymore. So if you want to continue, that's where we're at right now. If it doesn't continue and that is it, then thank you for going this far with it. It has been a lot of fun and I do appreciate it. Okay. So all that said, we've got a video to make and I decided to challenge myself today. And this is a difficult challenge. I'll, I'll be honest, this is like the fifth time I've had to start and stop this video. So today I am trying to see if I can review the entirety of the Armada toy line in one sentence each. It is not the easiest thing to do. I have kind of toiled over this a little bit and um, yeah, we got 50 items to go through. Uh, so we're gonna go through them as quickly as I can. One sentence is literally as quick as I can. And um, if I get some Minicon team names wrong, I do apologize. It's only been 20 years since I thought about these things. So working with what I got. All right, let us start off with the uh, Destruction Minicon team, or the Air, no, no, sorry, the Land Military Minicon team. See, I'm already starting. Uh, one of the best, most intriguing transformations I have ever seen on a Transformer and his two buddies who look like MicroMasters with missiles. You get the vibe now? Okay, we move on. Uh, street Action Minicons. Not only does it have two vehicles who should not be able to turn into a robot in the first place, but it also has a surprisingly decent combined mode. Air Defense Minicons. You know, they would be really cool and really cool looking if only they didn't self-destruct when you left them together for too long. All right, uh, Destruction Minicon Team. Minicon go brrrr. Uh, speed Minicons, you know, some of the better looking and most original robot modes that I've seen on car transformers and still somehow more intricate transformations than a lot of modern Autobot cars. Uh, the Race Minicons, not a bad set or shield until you realize a third of it is made up of a yellow swindle. Uh, adventure Minicons. Uh, Minicons would go brrr, but the gimmick doesn't work nearly as well as it did on the other set. Uh, Air Assault Minicons. Finally, it not only looks really cool, but it also will survive the test of time, too. N uh, Night Attack Minicons. Um, they are still the same cool set of three Minicons. They're just much harder to see in the dark now. Space Minicons, um, an intriguing set of three with some nice interactions, but it's all in favor of a cannon that just kind of looks like space junk. Uh, C Minicons, well, we finally got boat transformers in this toy line. Unfortunately, they're all the size of, you know, the palm of your hand. Uh, the Repaint Race Minicons. Well, he doesn't look like a yellow swindle anymore. You know, he just kind of looks like a swindle wearing white pants. Uh, Air Military Minicons. We just now figured out that we could make Minicons into really cool melee weapons? Emergency Minicons. Well, we found out we can make Minicons into Target Masters, but we didn't really think it through, so they're all just kind of like rough and slipshod. We... Uh, all right, moving up to the Deluxe class. Uh, Smokescreen. 
I didn't know they made Play School toys with such large gimmicks. Let's see, Blur. Really cool looking in both modes, if you don't mind the limited articulation and the car hanging off of his back. Hot Shot. Well, um, it's nice to see McDonald's is finally making bigger Happy Meal toys. Sides what, uh, sideways, sorry. Um, <clears throat> how is it possible that he aped both the Headmaster gimmick from the past and the Power Links gimmick from the future and somehow made them both cooler? Demolisher. One of the better designs from early Armada, and it's a criminal act that this has not had a modern incarnation yet. Ah, Deluxe Optimus Prime. Possibly the best Deluxe with the best Minicon, but also the worst Minicon gimmick. Cyclonus. Um... Uh, not your dad's Cyclonus, but not a bad toy, and the Minicon integration on him is actually pretty good. Thrust. Uh, it's okay, but I wish he had hands, and I really wish that weird shield gimmick actually worked. Nemesis Prime. Same great articulation, same great Minicon, but now with added mold degradation. Uh, Power Links Thrust. Uh, doesn't matter if you got the red one or the brown one. In the end, they're both still just kind of mi mid toys. Uh, Power Links Demolisher. You know, for someone who actually has the name Ironhide in Japan, he wears red pretty well. Power Links Cyclonus. Um,. Yeah, Springer wants his gimmick back, but at least you don't look too bad. Hoist. Um, for a redo of Smokescreen, he has no business being this freaking good. Seriously, one of the best. Uh, <laughs> Sideswipe. Uh, proof that adding in gimmicks does not make a toy better because he got worse every time they added another gimmick in. Power Link's hot shot. Well, at least he's finally looking like a serious leader instead of, you know, a, a grinning idiot. Wheeljack. Not a bad figure, though I'm still not entirely sure why uh, he looks like a G1 Sideswipe or why only one of his wrists rotates. Armada Rhinox. Um, not a bad looking figure if you can ignore the Minicon post that looks like he popped really nasty zits. Uh, Armada Air Razor. Ignoring the random Decepticon symbol molded in, she makes a really nice stealth ship, or a stealth bird, depending on your mode. Pterosaur. You know, I didn't know that a Transformer could have a salad paint job, but hey, here we are. Cheetor. Oh, uh, we didn't get the Halloween Horror Cheetor, but this actually makes a pretty nice substitute, all things considered. Laserbeak. I still don't care how many excuses you come up for for the multiple lenses. It's still a terrible looking everything. Moving up in size once again. Jetfire. Really cool looking toy, but hindered by the fact that he has to transform into somebody's groin. Starscream. Really upsetting that a swordsman character was given so little articulation, but it hardly matters when his sword looks like a car bumper. Red Alert. Oh, finally, the Ninja Turtles pizza thrower has good articulation. <laughs> Scavenger. Say what you want about the limited articulation, but he is basically the best Robo Frankenstein we ever got. Uh, Power Link's uh, Jetfire. He still has to form legs, but at least he looks like a pair of blue jeans this time. Overload. 
I don't care if this is a brick, he is a beautiful brick and I will die on his hill. Thundercracker. Uh, same flavor, but now in blue with a sunburnt face. Skywarp. Really cool new minicon and really cool new tooling, but why did you go and throw off the symmetry of the trio? Predacon. For everyone who wants to play with a really good Beast Wars toy without having to fear it breaking in half on you. Galvatron. All of the evil and fun gimmicks of the Megatron toy, but also now making the lilac look like an evil color. Ah, power, our, uh, you know, our uh, leader class, or whatever leader class back then was, Optimus Prime. Uh, extremely cool electronic features and a transforming toy until his pants set on fire. Unicron. We waited 16 years for this plastic egg to come out, and you know what? I can't lie, it was kind of worth the wait. The standard Megatron release. So many gimmicks thrown in, and somehow he actually manages to make them all work by some miracle. Tidal Wave. Probably the best figure in the line with no need for any art for no need for any electronic gimmicks or that weird combined mode that you really shouldn't attempt. And wrapping us off, Powerlink's Optimus Prime. The Optimus Prime your parents got you for Christmas when they didn't realize Optimus Prime shouldn't look like this. And that, my friends, is how you review an entire toy line in a single sentence. This is just a goofy little idea I wanted to toy with, and frankly, I figured uh, it'd be, it's high time I gave you a video that wasn't 20 minutes long. So if you wanted me to do this with another toy line, uh, or if you enjoyed it at all, let me know in the comments below. Uh, hitting like and subscribe on this video really does tell me if you really enjoyed it or not. So go ahead and do those things if you will. And of course, I will see you next time. We parlay with the captain. You would think a werecroc is going to listen to elvish rules of piracy. Of course it would be Got the freaking elves cool. that, that invented parlay. I had to think of a quick replacement for the French. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>